hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be giving you guys my first impression of the merit beauty fragrance called retrospect i think this is their first ever fragrance so i'm very excited about it and i'm so grateful to them for sending this over to me so this is what the packaging looks like and it actually comes with a book so at the bottom here it has the name of the fragrance and then it gives a little description so i'm going to go ahead and read that to you guys it says developed in paris retrospect is a concentrated l'extract l'extract de parfum Created with old world techniques and inspired by vintage notes, it's a modern fragrance shaped by the past. So this is what the box looks like and it does have the description of the fragrance on the top so I'm going to read that to you guys as well. So the top notes are bergamot, pear, and brett, and aldehydes, I think that's how you say it. The heart of the fragrance, which is the middle notes, are jasmine, rose, rosemary, violet, and orris. And the bottom notes are vanilla, musk, and moss. I must say that this sounds like something that I would really like. It says it's a rich, nonced scent that evolves throughout the day. Soft, clean notes open, followed by a subtle floral center before settling into a base of musk, vanilla, and moss for a warm second skin finish. Okay, and if you don't know about Merit Beauty, let me just give you a quick rundown. So they are a clean, minimal beauty brand. They have some blush bombs that I'm pretty sure you probably heard about. If not, that's probably the first thing you want to go check out because they're really good. Me personally, I love their highlighting balm. And I also love all of their complexion products. Everything is very skin-like, so I'm not surprised that they went with a skin-like finish for the fragrance. So let's go ahead and open it up and see the bottle. Okay, there's actually a box within the box and it does have merit embossed on the front Ooh, and here's the bottle the bottle looks very elegant and it's still giving like you know minimal vibes oh my goodness wow the bottle is so elegant and it's definitely giving luxury vibes and it's still very on theme with their brand i'm having such a hard time getting the top off with this fragrance oh my gosh i might have to call for backup oh I finally got it off okay so this is a one ounce perfume so this is what the bottle looks like without the top and uh, let's go ahead and give it a sniff so the mister is really nice wow did you guys see that I feel like the luckiest girl in the world this smells so good it smells so clean wow I'm actually wow if you don't like musk this probably will not be for you but if you don't like musk and you want to try something with musk this is it because it still has a sweet essence to it and that vanilla just oh that vanilla is just so good the musk is a very clean musk so if you just oh you guys listen if you're in sephora or on the shelves anywhere please give it a sniff your nose will thank you. It kind of reminds me of the Glossier perfume, but this is a little bit more sweet and a little bit more vanilla. And something about it is just so elegant. I need to know more about this scent. Now I see why they said it's like a second skin finish because it definitely smells like skin, but it smells so good. This smells so good. I really want to know what the price point is for this so I can give you guys a price point because this smells amazing so this is an extract so it does last even longer than a perfume and the price point is $92 so this is what the book looks like and we're gonna flip through it really quick just to get an idea of what it's giving already I love how the texture of the pages change here is the table of contents and let's just see. Honestly, this smells amazing all on its own, but if you want some fragrance combo ideas, here's what came to mind first. If You Musk, the body spray by Bath & Body Works, for sure came to mind. I would probably try it together if I had the Glossier perfume, but there's that. I think this will smell really, really good with Mi Matte Vanilla Musk, 
and I also think this will smell good with the EOS Vanilla Cashmere body lotion. Like I said, this is like nothing I've ever smelled before, to be honest. Like I could compare it to Glossier just because that's the closest thing that I can think of. But honestly, this is in a lane of its own. I'm in love, so that's my take on this perfume. Like I actually am in love, so. But that's my review. I know this was really a short video, but I just really wanted to talk about this scent really quick. And I wasn't even expecting to be as blown away as I was, but here we are. So comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video.